So now we're going to try, I'm, I'm just going to spend um, five minutes just to give you an idea of this is the exercise for adults. We don't, I tend to use it for kids only a small, small way because it can be a little bit complicated, but I'd like you to try this exercise yourself. And I'd like you to put one hand on your chest and one hand just above your navel. So there's a lot of airway dilation there. I would like you to tune into the amplitudes of your breathing. In other words, tune into the breath in, tune into the breath out. Just tune into the breath in, just tune into the breath out. Get a sense of where you're breathing. Feel your breath, follow your breath, sense your breathing. And as you sense your breathing, I'd like you to start encouraging your breathing to relax and to quiet and to slow it down. Not by deliberately tensing or anything like that, but using your mind but when you're tuning into the amplitude, use your mind that you're bringing the breathing volume down to, to less than what it was. So for instance, visually it would look from bringing your breathing volume from here to here. I want you to continue to reduce your breathing to the point that you feel a slight air shortage. The air shortage is not because your oxygen levels have dropped, but it's because of an accumulation of carbon dioxide. So I want you to keep on quietening your breathing, quietening your breathing, quietening your breathing to the point that you feel slightly, if I use the word, suffocated. I want you to feel the same way as if you're going for a walk. Now if you find that your breathing is getting chaotic or jerky or speeding up, the air shortage has gone too far. I'm not, today is totally outside of it to, to bring your breathing from your chest down into your diaphragm. It would be part, but it would be later on. But at the moment I want you to feel suffocated. So keep on slowing down your breath, quietening your breath, calming your breath. I need you to feel a need for air. I need you to feel a need for air. And it should be tolerable. Feel the need for air. Follow your breathing. We shouldn't really hear anybody breathing. Your breathing should be so quiet. There's a quotation from Lao Tzu. He was a Chinese philosopher, 500 BC. The perfect man, woman, breeds as if they do not breed. Look at your friends and relatives with heavy breathing that are sick. Look at people with high blood pressure, fatigue. Are they breathing heavy because of their sickness or is their heavy breathing reducing the delivery of oxygen to various tissues and organs and contributing to their sickness? It's a question maybe worth, worth asking. When you allow your breathing to relax and to quiet, and you'll also have improved coronary blood flow. You've got a right shift of the oxyhemoglobin disassociation curve, enabling better oxygenation of the heart. I'm just finished writing a piece on cardiac arrest, a myocardial infarction. It's so well documented in the literature. Chronic hyperventilation players that are breathing in excess of their metabolic requirements. They're pushing their body beyond what they're able for. There's a method in the UK here, of course, developed by a cardiologist called Claude Lum. He used this in the 60s for most of his cardiovascular complaints. Bring down the breathing volume, open up the blood vessels. Do you have air shortage? Air shortage? I know by your eyes, by the way, they go glassy, so you can't really tell me a fib. I know that man in the pink is our shortage, so is the man in the blue. Okay, I'd be happy enough that many of you have air shortage. Do you have an air shortage lady there? <laughs> so you understand what I'm, so we'll just relax there for a moment. Did anybody feel warmer? Did anybody notice their hands getting warmer? Can I get a show of hands? Who noticed their hands getting warmer? Okay, so you understand the cause and effect here. Many of your Kids coming in with black bags under their eyes and pale faces. You get their breathing right and their, their complexion changes. So there's so many things. When you start joining the dots together, it's amazing. It's so simple. Don't heavy breathe. Don't heavy breathe. 